Until I started to make this film, I knew nothing about foster youth, even though I was once one myself. I have heard about people being kicked out for being gay in foster homes. There's a foster home I was at where I wasn't out yet, but she was just hesitant with the fact that I had a friend that was bi. I remember having to ask if I could see her or talk to her, and all the other kids were not okay with it, and so I'm sure if I would have come out then, like, I would have been kicked out sooner than I already was. When I was identified as a lesbian, they would not let me be in a room with a closed door with any of the other girls who I lived with. Everybody else, they could do anything they wanted, but as soon as I would go in a room, they'd make a big scene. They made me feel really uncomfortable by being a lesbian. Sometimes people ask me, how did I get to the place where I was? How did I survive? When I started reflecting on that question, it did make me realize and think, gosh, yeah, actually, a lot of the kids who I grew up with are dead. Some of them were dead by the time we were 15. What was it that made me um, come through? I'm here to introduce our last awardee, which is Savannah. The work that she has done for this community is not only inspiring, but I know there are so many people that learn from her every day. Recently, I have been homeless in, uh, in Santa Cruz, sleeping outside a lot, sleeping in the caves, off the cliffs. You know, for the first time in my life, I wasn't able to take care of myself. America's most unwanted. This is for the foster youth to grow up in hella homes, location of birth, parents unknown. 